Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. Today, I want to explain the gimbal modes on the DJI Pocket 2, when to use one or the other and show you a few examples. So the basic gimbal modes are follow mode, tilt locked and FPV. To change them on the DJI Pocket 2, you can swipe up on the screen and change them by pressing this icon here. The other way to change them is to use the button next to the joystick, like this. You can also use lock mode on the Pocket 2 and for that, you need to press the button next to the joystick for about 2 seconds until you see the lock icon next to the battery one up here. There is another way to enter lock mode where you press and hold the button next to the record button but the difference is that you need to keep holding the button and it will go back to your previous mode as soon as you release the button. Follow mode is probably the mode that most people use. This mode will keep the horizon level straight and it will give you a lot of freedom by letting the camera move left or right and also tilt up or down. I like to use this mode especially for shots where I need the camera to move up or down, for example, to show something like a building. Tilt reveal shots are also a great example of when to use follow mode and as you can see on these videos, the camera goes from a low angle to a higher one. Just a small tip, don't use the joystick to set the initial position of the camera, instead Tilt the Pocket 2 to the starting position and from there, slowly move the Pocket 2 up or down like this. The Tilt Lock mode will also keep the horizon level straight and it will also lock the tilt so the camera will not follow any movements to look up or down. I like to use this mode if I know that I want to avoid the camera to tilt and I find it very useful for orbiting a subject for some panorama shots and this mode is also useful, for example, when you're walking or riding a bicycle and you know that at some point you will change your direction. Locking the tilt will help to keep the subject on the frame by not changing the horizon level even if I move my hand by accident. When it comes to vlogging, you can use this gimbal mode but if you want your movements to be more flexible, I think that using follow mode is going to be a better choice. That way, you're not risking to be out of the frame, which can happen if you like to change the camera angle frequently. The lock mode will lock the horizon, the tilt, and the pan motor. It doesn't matter how you move the pocket to, the camera will keep pointing in the same direction all the time. This is the mode that I like using most of the time. It's going to limit unwanted movements and it is ideal to use for push in or pull out shots or just to walk straight forward without changing the direction of the camera. I also like to use this mode for side tracking shots and this is where you move the pocket to from one side to the other while the camera is looking at the same direction. FPV does exactly the opposite from the lock mode and this means that the gimbal can move to the sides, up and down, and it will not keep the horizon level straight. This is a mode that I believe can allow you to get more creative videos. For example, you can use this mode to make spin shots by placing the pocket tool in horizontal mode and moving the camera to face forward with the joystick. Before I go, I do have a question for everyone. If DJI releases a new Pocket 3 later this year, do you think that it would be something that you would buy? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for all your support. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.